Hey, what's up guys? It's Bridget. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we're going to be trying the whole collection for the brand new Pro Fusion Daydream collection available at Target. So today we're going to test everything out. We have two highlighty cut palettes, we have some contour colors, we have some blush colors, we have a huge eyeshadow palette, we have a blush kit and a lip kit for you. So today we're going to try all these products out and they're all affordable and available at Target and stuff. So really available too. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, let's get started with this makeup tutorial. Um, if it is a tutorial, it's kind of like a first impressions kind of video about all of the new Profusion things. So I have all of them here. Let me show you them before they're opened up. This is the new blush and glow uh, blush and highlighter kit. It's really, I like the hollow. It's really pretty. Um, these were sent to me by Profusion, but they didn't ask me to use them in a video or mention them. It's not sponsored, not getting paid. Blah, blah, blah. Full disclosure. Here is a lip thing they sent me. I really like... Um, the color of the lipstick, I probably won't use the gloss, but if you guys, I mean, if it needs it at the end of the look, I will. This is the new brow kit. I'm not crazy about how this looks. I'm not sure if we're going to use the pencil or the other stuff in here. This is the Sculpt and Glow palette. This is what I think looks really cute because that light contour looks muted enough or it might be good for me. But there's also some stuff in here that I don't need. Like, I don't need this huge section of the palette for a brush I'm not going to use. And then this is the eyeshadow palette, which I'm really excited about because it's like a yellow mustard shade in here. Look at it! And this is the palette. You'll see it better when it's opened up. So let's start off with eyebrows first. Okay, so away from the flashy packaging, this is what you get in here. You get this little kit which has a brow primer, which is pink for some reason. It's a pink brow primer. You get a highlight, you get two different shades to use. Um, a top, a taupe, and a soft brown. Then you also get a medium brown pencil and a clear mascara and some little tweezers. I don't need the tweezers. I'll probably just keep them. Clear brow gel, always good to have. I really like that. So I think I'm going to start off with the pencil because I don't know the last time I used a pencil to do my brows. It's probably been months. Um, my brows are already combed and let's just try to use this first. Okay, so I've done this first brow with the pencil. It's very soft. It's kind of like a crayon texture. I think it's really good if you already have hairs, like right here. You can see where it really darkened them up and it kind of defined them. But where I don't have hairs and I have to draw them on, it looks pretty fake. So I think we're going to go in with the little brow palette. Okay, so I'm going to go into the darker brown color. And it's a brow powder, so I'm just going to use this with the brush that was included. Which is very, very soft and not very um dense and i'm gonna try to make these brows work even though it's not my color okay so unfortunately i could not get the brow products to work for me first of all it's not my color i don't have taupe eyebrows even the darker shade in the brow palette is not my color I don't like the pencil, I don't like the brush that came with the powder, even though I think you can make the powder work if this was your color. However, it's not for me, and sometimes I like to test the tools that come with products just to see how they are. I don't like it. Um, but moving on, please excuse the brows. Let's go on to eyeshadow because I feel like I need that right now. <laughs> okay, so here we have the Sienna palette, which I've already showed you, and here it is without the shininess over it. It's really cute. I'm living for this color right here. It's so cute. And the brush that comes with this appears to be good quality. Like this feels like a really nice blending brush. And this side, I would really love to set my primer with this one. So I'm going to use this brush. And I also really love this muted pinky kind of color. Ooh, I was going to do like a burnt orangey yellow look, but this purple Oh, I love that color. I hope it works. I really hope it works. Okay, so I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base in White Pearl and put it on my lid. And then we're going to take this first shade of Polite and set that. Okay, so I set my lids and the White Pearl base I use has some glitter in it. So if you see some sparkles, it is from that. So I'm really conflicted because I love the yellow, 
I love the mauve and I want to use this peachy shimmer which looks like it's two tones to it so it's gonna be a weird eye makeup I'm pretty sure <laughs> I think I'm okay with it though. So I want to use the brush that came with it because this was fine. This first shade right here had a little bit of fallout, but it wasn't anything like bad. So I'm going to take the first shade of Serendipity, that really cute yellow, and I'm going to tuck it into the inner crease area. Okay, so there's a little bit of fallout on the pan. Let me show you. Not much. And it coated the brush pretty well. You can see it. It's there. She has pigment. Ooh, I kind of like it. It's like a golden yellow. It looks like a mustard in the pan, but it looks more golden on the eyes. Maybe because my skin is very pink. There's some pretty good pigment on this. Look how pretty it looks. It looks kind of orangey yellow, but it looks really cute. I'm really happy with that. And not that much fallout. Like every time I went back in, I just picked it right back up and didn't pull anything else out of the pan. So next, I want to go into an orange and then we'll go to like the purple. I'm going to take this color here of Dynasty right beside that yellow. This one. And I'm going to buff it into like the middle to outer crease and kind of miss like the outer outer area. Because I want to put that pink there. I'm going to take it on the same brush so this really blends in with the yellow. And look right away, that's blending really cute. Okay, so what I've noticed with this brush is actually pretty good. I wish it was like a baby bit softer, but for this being an affordable palette and coming with this nice dual ended brush, it's really good. I'm not having any trouble blending. It looks pretty good so far. So I want to go in with a more precise brush. So I want to go in with a more precise brush when it's like a little angled dome kind of blender. And I'm going to that devoted color because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I can't see it on this brush, but we're going to tuck it into the outer, uh, you know, the outer little crease area. It's definitely pigmented. I'm really impressed so far with this eyeshadow palette. I was kind of like down feeling about the brows because they're devastatingly bad and I hate the brow product. But this eyeshadow palette's really cute and I really like, like the hollow cover on it. It's a really cute concept for being like a still a neutral kind of burnt palette but having like purples having reds having yellow in here it's kind of cool all right so here's the eyeshadow on the top um on the crease area anyways we're gonna go for the lid now and i want to use this color of dizzy i think it's really pretty it looks like a gold peach i don't know if it matches this look but we're gonna try it anyways let's try it with the finger um right away i can see like i messed up the pretty the pretty shiny part on the palette but let's see how it applies because some of these are like pretty and then they don't apply correctly but that looks really peachy it looks really well with gold and peachy it looks cute okay so i have a lot going on with the yellow to the orange to the purple to the pink gold on my lids it's kind of a weird color combination but i kind of still love it it's kind of cool i just like how everything blended together still I'm going to do the underlining nail. So I want to try some new colors for the lower lash line, even though we have a lot of colors already. I want to try this color of Oasis because it is kind of like the Sienna vibe that's in this whole palette, the name of it anyways. And then for the outer, outer corner of the lower lash line, I want to take the shade of Madly. Also, this is a Morphe M408, which I don't recommend. It's very hurtful and painy under the eyes. But it's the only lower lash line brush I had that wasn't dirty. Okay, so it applied with the brush. You could definitely tell those two mattes were a little powdery because I could see the powder coming off as I was doing it under lower lash line. It happens with some shadows, not all of them, but I did want to point it out. So let's move on now. That looks pretty cute. Okay, so let's move on to the rest of the face. Now, I'm going to go run and put some eyelashes and mascara on real quick. Then we'll get to the contour, highlight, blushy kind of vibes. All right, I am back and put on some lashes that I wasn't really fond of, but I feel like they're okay. Yeah. 
anyways let's move on to contouring now so we have a blush and glow kit with no contour in it then we have this sculpt and glow kit it is the moonstone edition it looks like this i've already showed it to you and this is the inside with no cover on it i really think i can use this shade i think this shade be a really good contour for me it looks ashy enough where it's not like uh very very warm or very orange so i feel like this one even this one doesn't even look too orange on me so i feel like this would be a really good one and then maybe i'll mix this one if it's too light which i've never said before in a contour that's awesome okay so i'm gonna use the real techniques contouring brush there is some kickback on this should go get the powder but i can pick it back up when i go back in hopefully hmm. there's i mean it's there but it's very subtle yeah i'm gonna mix in the darker medium shade there's not one for a darker skin tone here if i'm my pale face is able to use both contour shades there's not one for a darker skin tone in this palette i don't know if there's a darker version of it okay so there's no blush in that palette but i feel like the contour looks pretty good it looks pretty not too too warm on me i'm really excited um this is the blush and glow five color blush and highlighter palettes the only thing is these blushes are very glittery shimmery sparkly you can see these two they're both shimmeries i really like like a matte blush like a normal blush but we'll use these anyways so what i want to do because we have such a coppery kind of look in i want to go to this color of marvel i'll touch this one a little bit too but mostly this blush um i'm not a fan of glittery blushes but we'll see how this this one this is like leaving a lot of cake back on the i don't know if you can see it it's everything's so <sighs> reflective okay It doesn't look too shimmery sparkly on my actual cheek. Oh, yeah, you can see the glow. You see the glow? It's weird. It's kind of weird for a blush for me. And I have this huge pimple right here, and I can't- I don't like putting blush over it, because it makes it red again. Okay, so it has some glow to it. If you guys were going for, like, a summer look, this isn't a bad blush. It definitely shows up. Um, I think it's a little bit dark for me, my skin tone. I like more of a blushy pink. These are kind of a darker color, but it doesn't look bad. So let's move on to highlight. We have two different highlighter palettes. So I want to do one sheet from one palette, one sheet from the other palette. So while we're in the blush and glow palette, I want to take the color of lightning and charming and mix them two together. I really like the white highlights and I feel like this one's kind of cute as well. So let's do it on this cheek and then we'll use the other palette for the other cheek. So right, there's a lot of powder on the top of these so mm. Mm. it looks shiny to y'all but i just see a lot of powder falling off does that look cute to y'all in the like my little reflection i can see it looks pretty blinding but in mm. it's not as metallic as i like like, it definitely has some uh, blinding capabilities to it. But I think I like mine just a little more metallic. This one has a little bit of glitter in it. But, like, you can't deny that's a pretty glow. <sighs> Get all the <laughs> excess powder off. Okay, now in the Sculpt and Glow kit, this is the Moonstone Edition. I think I already said that. I'm going to take the shade of Lightning, which we just used in the other palette, I believe. If it's the same one. This one looks duller than the other palette. And we're going to use the shade of Euphoria. We're going to use these two. This one's more pink. I really want to try the pink. Again, these are pretty powdery. More so the Euphoria pink color than the Lightning White one. Is that the blinding? Not as much as that does. Jeez, that's pretty. And this one's just like, meep. I find this just to be a lot more powdery than the other one. The other one is powdery too, but this one just seems like it's kind of a mess. I think maybe, I don't want to make conspiracies here, but maybe because um, this only has a couple shades. They worked hard on the formula. This one has like a ton of shades, a ton of different colors, different formulas in here. Maybe they didn't work as hard on this one because it's just not doing the blindingness that I want it to. 
Yeah, this side looks really blinding. This one just doesn't look as blinding. I don't know. Um, so I do like the contour shade from the palette though. Next up is Lippies. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the lip liner here. It is like a lip crayon, kind of like the Wet n Wild twist ones. And I'm gonna line my lips even though I don't usually do it. It smells sweet. It kind of smells like a... Like a, a sweet candy suntan lotion-ish? Okay, good lip crayon, no problems there. Didn't break or anything, pigment is there. I wanna do the lip cream next. It says matte lip cream, so hopefully it dries down matte. Oh, nice little doe foot wand, I definitely like that. And the color is completely, it smells just like the lip liner. This is Kali, my color scheme, and it matches my dress. Okay, so now the lipstick is on. It looks pretty good. And we need to see if it dries down though. So I'm going to wait a minute and see if it dries down before we apply this gloss. Okay guys, so I am ready to use the gloss. I don't usually use a lip gloss, but this is a sparkling lip topper and I feel like it goes with this kit. So we're going to do it anyways. I definitely, this is not a critique with this product in particular, but it's a critique with like the whole community. I don't understand when a lipstick and the lip liner come to the exact same color. I feel like the point of a lip liner is to be slightly darker than the lip shade. So if it was like one tiny tad darker on the lip liner, I think it makes more sense. But everyone's doing the matching lip liners, so I can't knock Profusion for doing it. Also, completely matte in less than like two minutes and no stickiness, so... Glad with the lipstick, it's a baby. It's a tiny baby bit drying to the lips. It's less than a Tarte or a NYX product, so I can't complain about it. Let's try the lip top. Oh. oh no, it's a brush. Okay. Okay guys, so it is, it's a look. I definitely feel like this is not my aesthetic. I definitely think these lips, the lip color is beautiful. I don't do glossy, sparkly lips. It's weird to me. Although it's not sticky, which I really appreciate. It's not like gloopy when you close your lips. Also, I feel like these lashes kind of ruin this eye makeup for me. Anyways, this is the eye makeup. It's very colorful, very pretty, definitely pigmented, fan of the mustard yellow. Uh, the lipstick, love the lipstick, love the lip liner. I think they're both great quality. Not a fan of the gloss on me, but again, it's good quality. It only took me one swipe for the bottom mouth, one swipe for the top lip. Not sticky, so it's very good. I feel like it's drying down a little bit too, so it's not gonna like stick to everything. Um, this blush and glow kit thumbs up on this i'm not a fan of sparkly blushes but it definitely did its job and it wasn't an issue the highlighter on this side is absolutely beautiful i wasn't a fan of it at first but the more i look at it i'm just like oh that's really cute um this sculpt and glow palette i like the contour shade the fact that i can use both of these is really surprising because i am so pale i usually have a hard time finding a good contour color and then the highlighters not a fan of them, but I am a fan of these. I would buy the palette for these two and just pop these out and keep the two um, contour colors. Honestly, it comes with this nice big brush, but again, I don't like brushes like that. I like dome brushes. Um, the highlighters in this palette, if you like something subtle, sure. Who does? Um, eyeshadow palette is my favorite thing out of this collection and then followed by this and the lipsticks. I think the lipsticks and then this. Um, I love, love, love the eyeshadow palette. This is the Sienna palette again. Absolutely freaking love it. Love this color right here. Um, the brow stuff. Mm-mm, girl, do not get that brow product stuff. I'm sorry, I don't like it at all. It's really bad. Don't buy it. Please don't buy it. Please don't buy it. Um, I hate it. I don't understand why your eyebrow primer is pink. No one has pink skin that's gonna need that primer color. I don't know about it. I love the lipstick color, though. Other than the gloss... 
The color is really pretty. I really like the lipstick color. The eyeshadow itself looks good, even though I'm not a fan of the eyelashes with it. It makes me look a little bit cheap, I guess. I don't know. Even the lashes are not cheap. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your favorite thing out of this collection in the comment section down below. Also, this stuff is available at Target. I'll leave the link to Profusion's... You know, like my limp arm? I'll leave the link to Profusion's uh, website in the description box for you. But also, I just saw everything at Target. So that's a really good thing if you have the one near you. Target's about an hour away from me, so I know if everybody can't go get one like that, it's fine. But I definitely like the lipstick color. The lipstick color, I'm absolutely loving. Love the eyeshadow palette. Not a fan of the eyebrow products. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. I put it every single freaking day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.